Hey everybody, CatSynth TV, and today we are looking at the RX-5 USB from Pharmasonic. It is a USB-compatible waveform cartridge for the Yamaha RX-5 drum machine that allows you to import and play your own sounds. If you haven't yet checked out our detailed tutorial on the RX-5, we recommend checking that out as well. Link in the corner above and in the description below. And as always, please do consider supporting this channel via Patreon or Ko-Fi. Links in the description below. To program the RX-5 USB, attach it to your computer and run the provided Windows application. Now this is very important. Do not leave the device in your RX-5 cartridge slot at the same time as connecting the USB. Bad things can happen, including damage to both the RX-5 USB and the RX-5 itself, so don't do it. Now I don't actually have a Windows machine running at CatSynth HQ, but fortunately, we can run Windows on a virtual box on Mac OS to access the software. Let's open the RX-5 USB editor now. It comes with several pre-programmed banks, like the Lindrum, the Roland CR8000, and the TR series drum machines. There are also copies of all the original Yamaha cartridges. Let's try WRCO2, which was the Jazz and Fusion collection for the RX-5. It's split into two parts. Let's open A. You can see the various instrument waveforms here. Now let's upload it to our RX-5 USB. Select one of the two sides and banks. We'll use Side 1, Bank A. Okay, now let's press Program to upload. Cool! Now let's open WRC2, Bank B. Program. Select Side 1, Bank B, and Upload. Now let's add the Lindrum on Side 2. Open Bank A, Program, select Side 2, Bank A. Okay, now open Bank B, Program, select Side 2, Bank B, and Upload. Okay, now we can detach the RX-5 USB from the computer and insert it into the drum machine. Once again, I cannot stress this enough. Never plug the RX-5 USB into both the drum machine and computer at the same time. Now let's turn on the RX-5. As you can see, it recognizes that a new cartridge was inserted and asks if we want to initialize the cartridge voices. Say yes and say yes again. So right now, the pads are assigned to the built-in sounds. We can use the key assign page and job one to start assigning our cartridge sounds to the various pads. Again, if you're not familiar with the key assign or voice edit functions, you can learn about them in our RX-5 tutorial video. Assign pad M to Jazz Bass Drum 1. We'll assign pad A to Fusion Bass Drum. Jazz Snare 1. Fusion Snare 1. That's kind of cool. There are no rim shots, so we'll leave those alone. Do we have any toms? I believe we do. We'll put the jazz toms on the lower pads and the fusion toms above them. We have a ride symbol, brushes, there are these two guitar hits for pads K and W, and we have a cowbell, and a bass sound. Okay, now that we've assigned our sounds, we can make some patterns. Let's go to step right. I'm going to set the meter to 7-8 because I do things like that. Set our quantize to 16th notes. Back to step right and start.
Okay, play that back. Cool. Now let's add some cowbell. Set quantize to eighth notes, step right, start. Okay, let's copy our pattern. Go to pattern 1, add some hi-hat. Set quantize to 16th notes again, step right. Let's create one more pattern. 7 8 again, two bars long. And let's record some of the toms. All right, let's play what we've got. Okay, now let's switch to side 2 to use our Lindrum sounds. Turn off the RX-5, take out the RX-5 USB, switch it to side 2, and reinsert. It can sometimes be a little persnickety. Turn the RX-5 back on. Switching sides is essentially the same as switching cartridges, so we get the message to initialize cartridge voices again. Say yes and yes. So a bunch of those voices have been reinitialized. We can once again use key assign to set the pads to our various Lindrum sounds. I thought the Lindrum had a kibasa as well. Ah, there it is. Okay, now let's create a new pattern. Once again in 7-8. Add some congas.
Let's add the kibasa. Nice. Let's add another pattern. Toms. And some symbols. Okay, let's play what we've got. Okay, let's go back to the editor, and I'm going to show you how to add your own sounds. Click New to create a new bank. Now go to Import Sounds. I've selected a few sounds here. Four experimental instrument samples by Elliot Sharp, four from a couple of vintage sound effects libraries, and four of my cat Sam Sam. Okay, now we see all the sounds in our new bank. If you click on one of them, you see the waveform, along with all the voice parameters that are available on the RX-5. There is also a channel assignment, which determines which channel or pair of pads the sound is available for. Now unfortunately, we're over the 125 kilobyte limit for a bank, so we're going to have to drop a few of the sounds. One more. Okay, now we're below the limit. But before we upload our bank, we need to assign the sounds to different channels so that we can spread them across the different pairs of pads on the RX-5. And just for fun, Let's put the TR-606 sounds on side 2, bank B. Okay, so with the RX-5 USB back in place, let's turn on the RX-5. Initialize cartridge voices once again. Now we can go to the key assign and start assigning our custom bank sounds to the upper pads. All right, here are our custom bank sounds. Now let's build a pattern with them. I'll stay in 4-4 this time. Pretty cool.
control. Now let's load our TR-606 sounds on the lower pads. And now we can add some of those parts to the pattern with our custom sounds. We can overdub a bit more with real-time recording. And there you have it. Custom sounds on the Yamaha RX-5. To find out more about the RX-5 USB as a finished product or DIY, please visit these websites respectively. And check out the description below this video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to CatSynth TV.